Nick Byard. Welcome to a pocket live stream of Zero Time Dilemma. This could very well be the... Oh my goodness, it is so bright. It is so bright. Too this bright? could very well be... No, 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 I got it. I got it. This could very well be the last Zero Time Dilemma stream we ever do. Something I wish I never had to say. I never want this game to end. Ah, that's why. Auto game. You can bugger off, mate. I'll take that exposure down as well. Oh, and I'm very yellow. Let's get rid of the yellow. Excellent. And now, finally, that lamp that's just shining and everything. Oh, that's part of the game. Good. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> see Cleo. I see Celia. I see Nick TE Official. I see Jolly Bones, who I played uh, Overwatch with a couple of days ago. I see Dubny. I see Reign of Karma. I see Moon and Night. I'm ecstatic. Tump. Sith Cat, Eloise, <coughs> Schmexy Ruler, <clears throat> Rad Monkey, Ninja Pyro, Inspector Barnaby. Um, let's just jump in. We just have to jump in. Except for the fact that um, Nick T Official did tweet me and say that. Please enter. Please come. Um, said that. He recommends we watch a cutscene again, and I hope it's not the 45 minute one. Uh, he said it's the cutscene after Q Team pushes the yellow button. I mentioned there was something there when we saw it on stream. It's the cutscene after Q Team pushes the yellow button. So let's do that. <clears throat> uh, this one. Q Team, yellow button. Decision, kill button, don't press, press the button. All right. Oh, good lord. Let's take a look. <sighs> oh, what no, he's back. I. Why? I... I see. Interesting. Did you push the button? Does this mean we're going to be saved? But then... The others will... You... You killed them! C-team and D-team are gonna... No, we did. We had to do this so we could survive. There was no way around it. But... It's not my fault! I told you from the start not to push it! What? What are you talking about? It was obvious you were planning on pressing it. But you're the one who actually did! Little freak it kid. was your hand! He's not a you kid. pushed it! You're a robot! You're a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. Come on, tweet, uh, Commander Redjobs, because he's not here and I'm worried for him. The action is legally justifiable. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of your immediate life. That, that is something I'd like to do. I'd like, like to stop you. looking at her but as well. You must all sleep again. Why? Maybe that's why. 1929. You have done exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not. No, no, I didn't do it. He's the one who pushed it, so he's... It would be inconvenient if you forgot you caused the deaths of others. But I already told you, I, I didn't kill anybody. I was only watching. Oh, God, Eric, Dad, every cutscene. I was I just watching. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I was the one who... We cannot go back Please to the ice cream shop. We cannot go back him, to the house. It's cold. It's cold. The water was so, so cold. Pleasant dreams. What a dick. Mom. There must be birdies falling down somewhere. So much fall. Is that it? What did we miss? 
What did we miss? I don't know what we missed. Nick, it's probably easier if you just tell us. Um, okay. <clears throat> now. Oh my god, there's only three left. So, okay, so these sections. God, are we even gonna finish it? Um, don't press the button. Back. Back. Are there any here? Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Wait, so what the hell do we do? <clears throat> uh. Wait, go to time flow. It's the bit where Q stays behind. Huh? It's the bit where Q stays behind. That's, I just, that, that feels like way too much work. Sorry, uh, but I need to figure out <clears throat> how do we continue playing this game? Oh, is there a box to open? Uh... It's the cutscene where Sean stays with Gab. Sean, being Q, stays with the dog? Is it this? This one. I think it's this one. Lockboxes, we have the codes for both C Team and Q Team. <coughs> Sorry, it's been a long time since we actually played this. Um, maybe then, okay, we go to the lockbox, uh, which is this thing. Ah, yes, okay. Force quit box. Shit, what were the codes? Do I have them written down somewhere? Jumped here, yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We go in here. Where are we? Your brain. That's your the brain, kid. The says we're in... The quantum computer dome. The computers in here govern all the functions that run within the shelter. Why do you know that? I can't really tell you why. Because I don't know. It's because it's what? you. It's because it's your brain. Anyway, I think they mean this when they say central control computer. So, what about that thing? Okay, what is Wait, this code? I feel like I'm remembering something. I hope you are, and I hope it flashes back. I know. Know what? The way you start up the system. First, we need to get the cover off. There's no way we can insert the plug if we don't. The plug? Please, just shh. I think... The number is... Okay, what is this number? <clears throat> oh, right. Okay, Nick, that's what the cutscene was. At the end of the last stream, you mentioned how Q reveal came out of nowhere. At the big where Q stays with the dog, the screen pans out and reveals a false shadow on the floor. Right, so it's him. Um, but the question here is, what the hell is the code? Where is my piece of paper? Oh, God, it's been weeks. Uh, does anyone remember what the code is? Um, a robot's name? No, it's a number. Is this? 052821261? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Moon and Knight thinks it's... <clears throat> 3808 uh, 08 Is that right? Oh my god! Ah, it opened! Now all we have to do is insert the plug here. So where Hello. is this plug? Hmm, I think. If oh, we come on! If put the right numbers here... What? What's this one? W wait... What do numbers for your head have anything to do with the plug for this? Uh... I should just do it. You might get it then. Stop avoiding the question! D 
Do you even know what should go there? The numbers. You've played this. The numbers are um. Am I distracting you? Very much so. You smell nice though. Thanks. Um. Oh shit! God damn it! Where is my piece of paper, John? <clears throat> okay. Uh, what's this one? Gotta go fast, says Cleo. Is this for Spawny, or are you just dressed up? Yeah, good one. Um. <clears throat> ba -ba 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 -bum. Okay, I'm just waiting for everyone to catch up so that we actually get to the numbers. Uh, enter code. Enter code. I want to enter a code. What is the code? Let me have numbers. <clears throat> Just looking at our recap doc, the Commander Red Junks. to see your freaking neck. Oh, Eric is not going to cope well with this. Nope! Are you kidding me? You're like a giant ice cream cone. You're... You're... She's just taking this ride. Eric, it's been an hour. Would you just get used to it already? How can I? I mean, he's... It's a... It's a robot! For real? Could you maybe do something about it? Looks like Lego. Is this better? Yeah. No. Now the shape brings out your eyes. So this doesn't freak you out or anything. At all. I could say the same to you. Well, I... Not much phases me. I'm just not that type. You could have been a Martian for all I care. Yeah, I was surprised when I first found out. I thought my heart was in my throat. You don't have a heart. Hey, yes. hold on. Neither does your girlfriend. Did you say when you first found out? I meant it happened to me before. In the past. In another history. Uh, another? I remembered everything. What is the robot have When I saw what I looked like earlier. Ah, uh, memories. You see, my brain isn't located in this head. My thought center is there, inside the quantum computer. That is where I think, perceive, and send command signals to this body. For example, when I raise my hand like this, it's simply receiving a command. I love how the kid was so Just shocked like by a remote controlled toy. Now a total expert in how he works. Did you know? A quantum state is one where all possibilities overlap and coexist. This quantum computer, then, is able to use this state and run, say, simulations A, B, and C simultaneously. Basically, my brain is an infinite number of worlds and possibilities. So I can use that framework and... Well, jump between other histories. Oh, there's no way that I could do that. 
but it's possible that you two might be undergoing the same thing. There's a theory. Human consciousness may be a result of quantum effects in the brain. Okay. It's called quantum mind. <clears throat> it's more like or I'm... less suggesting a human brain is a form of quantum computer. That's in the first if a game. specific set of conditions are met, then you too can jump to other histories? Like this discussion. <laughs> this sounds like crazy talk. You don't believe me? Of course not. Oh. There you go. That's what Nick says. I don't as well. well done. You. Go, Nick. I guess I should explain everything then. Please. Oh God. No. Start at the beginning. No. Don't start at the beginning. Before I begin, I need to do one little thing. Plug in. Plug out. New head. Plug out. I know, why isn't he catching it? It's the most expensive part of his whole body. What did you just do? Uh, just a little something. What? What? Ah, oh, that is a giant spoiler image. I'm so glad I didn't see that on Reddit. Oh, he's killing cameras. Let me back in. Nothing changed. Huh. That we can see. But it looks like the message changed. Yes, I started up the system earlier. It says force quit program on standby. To initiate, two key items must be set. What does that even mean? Wait, it seems like there's something else. The key items are... A mother's mementos? Yeah. So I the wonder brooch, what those could be. And the other thing, the bird cage. <clears throat> so, this is saying we need to find them? Does that mean they're hidden around here somewhere? Even if that's true, I don't think we have the time. Damn. Yes, our time's up. Good, you just all resigned yourself to that. Now it is time Real to heroes. sleep. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Mm, that's a terrible thing to hear Let's when you just find out that kid is a robot. Okay, so Eric's just gonna wake up and just be like... Well, I guess none of them will remember that the... Like, even, does the robot forget? I guess he must. Uh, okay, cool. So, we cleared the Q box. Um, which was that, I think. Force quit. Yeah, cool. So, now we have the other box, right? We've got another box that we need to open. Um... Uh, who, whose force quit box do we have? Have we opened this one? Yes. Have we opened this one? No. Cool, okay. <clears throat> so we need the code for this one as well. Where's that dock? I realized I opened up the wrong one. Um... Seriously, what the hell is this Can someone this link in the uh, recap doc in the chat? Force quit box. I know that. I'm asking what exactly it's going to end. Whatever it is, we can't do anything unless we have the password. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Vibe Hoodie. Thank you, Moon and Night. What is it, Carlos? I feel like... I feel bad Red Jones isn't here to I celebrate. Remember. I don't know where he is. He must what? be... Busy. The password. Oh, well, we'll put it up on YouTube. We'll open this box. He'll probably How come you know? at three. Just shut up for a second. I think the password has to be. Stop pretending like you know. I know. You don't know. In fact, Moon and I knows. Moon and I told me. I tell Carlos. Hello, North Darkwood. Uh, bye. What 
the hell is this? It looks like a device of some kind. Hey, look. Uh, something's appearing on the monitor. To execute the force quit program, the central control computer must be booted. Central control computer? Wait, okay, did so we ever brain. see something like that in here? If there isn't, then we're out of luck. Hmm, dead end, huh? Who was blind and deaf? Blind and deaf was uh, old man uh, Delta. Hey, sitting in a wheelchair the whole game. We didn't. We had no idea. Did you know that password? <clears throat> I'm not sure. What? I don't know how I knew. Um, this is just a guess, but Carlos, did you possibly shift from another timeline? It was like a pretty good guess. Wait, shift? Shift. 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 Oh, so it was like that then. Hey, come on. You're the only one to figure it. Sorry, just could you be quiet for a second? I need to think about quiet, something. Dad. Still thinking? Oh, you're so stupid. Been sitting you're still in for thinking hour, pose Carlos. for an hour. You've been sitting there like this. Could you maybe share what you've been thinking about? Do you want to know? Yes. Hello, Drevisor. I was thinking about you, Akane. Well, me? You're, uh, well, what? to be blunt, really hot. <gasps> huh? We may never manage to make our way out of the shelter. You know what that means right uh, what the sorry. crap is happening i'm not sure what the hell are you getting at you asshole oh look a neanderthal is trying to block my way what wait what the hell is he trying to shift what's going on what carlos I mean, he's doing huh? this for a reason, Damn obviously. You. Is he trying to force a jump? Like he wants a he wants Junpei to kneel and kill him and then he uh, can jump? That was a good one. Oh, I can tell you're finally getting fired up over this. Shut the fuck up! You fucking asshole! One hour later. He, his Carlos, face better look horrible. Are you all right? Yeah, that was nothing. Anyway. Hey, man. What do you say to a drink? What? To clean the slate between us. Come on. What? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, clearly something is going this on, but the writing fine? is just so awful. Damn it. I blame you for this, Junpei. Uh, my hands are all shaky after your brutal punches. Sorry, 
But could you guys help me clean this up? What the hell? You can try and cut you. This is just the... Thanks, guys. Um, uh, uh, sure. Guys, it's almost time. You're right. Now it is time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. I don't even understand the past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Is that it? Why are you looking at me? Is that actually any of the thing there? Oh, okay, that. Oh my god, they're all there! Oh my god, they're all there! Oh my god, they're all there! Is this it? Is this the end? Oh, I like I like Sarah's I like Sarah's theory. Or well, a couple of people's theory that he put glass under their bracelets so that when they get injected it doesn't actually inject them. Oh my god. Okay, so we go to I mean, we'll just go in order, I guess. This is it. There's four more scenes and that's the end of the game. I feel like there's so much that is yet to be explained. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. C team. Let's hit it. I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. I don't know how the ending could possibly live up to some of the craziness that we've had. Yeah, so remember the room is all video scripts. That there's no actual room. They've all been in the same area the whole time, they just didn't realize. I knew it. Looks like the memories we regain are true after all. The three wards were all in the same place. Then... Carlos! Akane. Junpei. Amira and Eric. We're all here. And you're Sean, right? Carlos, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Proof of friendship. <laughs> anyway, what are you guys doing here? According to the schedule, C team and Q team should both still be asleep. We took a page out of your book and did what you did. We used the cards keep the bracelet needle from injecting us. Right. So, does that mean... I remember everything. Yeah. I remember everything. I do too. Junpei and I as well. Um, over the past few hours, uh, we got back the memories we forgot. So what about the rape? Well, to be more accurate, it's more like we accessed the morphogenetic field and downloaded all of them. Then... You have the other history's memories, too? Yes. Then you're like us. But why? Hold up. Eric and I are different. Yeah. We didn't gain memories from other histories. Yeah, you never then neither of you got injected? No. We're the same as Carlos and the others. I told them. Um, maybe I'll start from the beginning. First, 
so I could run the program in the force quit box, I accessed the central control computer. Okay. Then, I briefly turned off the communication network. Brilliant. That way, I stopped the surveillance cameras from sending any data to Zero. I didn't want Zero to catch on to what we were doing. And that's when Sean let us in on the truth of what's going on here. We went over to the transporter room and picked up two cards. Okay, so you got cards. Before the injection, we each slipped one between our wrist and bracelet. There's junks. Welcome. Okay. Now you two make sense. But what about you, Sean? Well, you probably already know, but I'm a robot. Just for the sake of people who are just joining. Just for the sake of the people who are just joining. What you have missed is not much. Sean told the Eric and Mira that he was a robot. He took off his head, plugged himself into the central computer, turned off all the cameras in the communication network. And then Carlos, for some reason, was like, we, op we put the code into the force quit box. He sat for an hour and thought, and then he tried to rape Akane. Junpei got in a punch up with him. He then, after an hour of beating him, of Junpei beating Eric, uh, sorry, beating Carlos, Carlos said, let's have a drink to bury the hatchet, dropped the glass, they all went behind the counter, and they slipped the cards in their bracelets so that um, they wouldn't get injected with the forgetful stuff. Still don't understand why he needed to, like, pretend to... I, I'm guessing pretend to abuse Akane or get in a punch-up. I don't know why they needed to get into a punch-up unless he needed to run to that room to get cards or something. Like, he could have easily just dropped a glass and said, hey, come help me pick it up. Uh, but maybe they just wanted some sort of attempted rape scene in their game. Uh, because that seems like the crazy shit that the developers who put this character into a video game would be into. So that's pretty much everything you've missed. Uh, so we're at the end. Let's kick it. Being injected does nothing to me. Then, every time the time limit approached, I was forced to go into sleep mode. Like a baby boy laptop. Then, my memories from the previous 90 minutes were deleted. I didn't want that to happen, so... You remember me saying I accessed the computer? Well, I hacked my own system, too. He said he managed to cancel the forced sleep and delete functions. Okay. What about C-Team, then? Good question. We couldn't interrupt the surveillance cameras, so we had to be sneaky instead. First, Carlos pushed me down and climbed on top of me. He what? I, it was, it, it was just an act. I was only pretending to do it. Carlos used that moment to whisper in my ear. He said to go to the transporter room and grab the cards in there. But if I just let her go like that, it looks suspicious. So Junpei and I stayed behind to get Zero's undivided attention. Look at Junpei pretending like he knew I what was going on. I casually out. invited Junpei to the power room. You can see the result of our conversation. You should have told me what was up. If I had, then Zero would have figured it out. You, you look like you'd be a crap actor. Ugh. Huh. And after that? We met Akane in the lounge. We hid from the cameras and each got a card from her. Seems like a very complicated way of doing this. I probably just would have whispered to Akane. Um, sorry, but could I get confirmation on something? Everyone knows what all happened in the other histories, right? Yeah, how we all killed each other all the time. Even you, Mira and Eric? Didn't Eric say so earlier? Sean told us everything. But wait. Why? Why what? Why do we know about the other histories? Well, that's probably... You want to know? Oh, here he is. Old, blind, deaf, dumb Delta. With a shoddy. 
Q? Or maybe it's actually zero. You are free to call me by my given name, which is Delta. Hi, Mummy and Daddy. <sighs> There's no need to look so threatening. You were the one who named me, Diana. Oh my god, Mira's breast cannot believe it. It doesn't matter. I shall answer your question. Carlos, Kane, Junpei, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. All six of you know that you are shifters, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Think back on your path to this very moment. Did you arrive at this history by following a normal flow of time? <laughs> no, of course you didn't. You jumped in from another history using your shift abilities. And it wasn't just this once. You have been shifting back and forth many, many times. You are bad. From one point in space-time to another. You boldly took chances, much like jumping from one tree branch oh, we get it to we get another. it the jump the jumpers you have forgotten that fact perhaps as a result of the medicine or as one of the side effects of shifting regardless your memories have been kept firmly intact within the morphogenetic field it is simply that the six of you regained the memories of those times one small trigger, and the levy preventing you from remembering collapsed. Sean is a similar case. However, his thought center is located within the quantum computer. So far, he is. So I suppose it's slightly zero different from you. That we didn't already know. What about me and Mira? No one cares. You are both like me, in that we do not have the ability to shift. You don't? Mm -mm. I have another power instead. The power to mind hack. What? Mind hack? I am able to read other people's minds. That's I new. The thoughts and ideas that go through their heads. That's why I know exactly what Phi is trying to do right now. Ah! Step away from that device, Phi. Then, when we blocked it's the injection... Sister, right? I saw through your ruse. <sighs> then why did you... I wanted all of you to play the final decision game. Oh, shit. The final decision game? I find human decisions fascinating. More specifically, the world branching that occurs as a result. I already mentioned that I am unable to share. He loves to pace. But after looking inside millions of Giant minds, room. I learned one thing. There are people in this world with the ability to jump between histories. That shifters exist. Hence, why I know so much about these parallel worlds. You did all this because you were curious? When a person does something significant, it's difficult to boil the reason down to one word. Their motives are often very complex. It is the same now. To fulfill several objectives, it was necessary <coughs> to trap all of you in here. So why did you do it? You want to know? Yes, please. This is the whole reason we've sunk 25 hours into this. It is so you give birth to Phi and myself, Diana. So it's, it's self-fulfilling prophecy. 
You're only doing it because you have to do it, because otherwise you wouldn't exist. What do you mean? Fi and I are the children of Diana and Sigma. Fi is... Wait. <laughs> They're children? When did you guys have time to bang? It was pod November sex. 16th, 2029. Remember the pod sex? Fi and I were born in this shelter. This is great. This is like a recap of the whole game. This, this is all was you, to understand the game, you just history, need to watch the ending of, of the game. Shortly Good after, God. the atomic data that makes up our bodies was transported to April 1904. Correct. The transporter was located in a German research facility at that time. Did not know that. Our bodies reconstructed and regenerated in the export pods at that like facility. This isn't battlefield. But that would mean you're actually... Wait, wait. I'm 124. Holy shit, you look great. Why is Fi not that old? But Fi is... A German researcher sent her to 2008. Okay. Records indicate that she was part of an experiment. You're saying Fi jumped back in time from 2029 to the year 1904? And then forward again to 2008? Technically. What was sent both times was simply the data makeup of Vi's body. I heard that in 2008, the device was being studied in an American facility. <sighs> That's when an old couple who were researchers took me in. We've gone off topic. Yes, we have. But yes, that was one of the major. Yeah, Everything that occurred here helped create Phi and myself. And when I say that, I am including all of the other histories. If I hadn't trapped the group of you here, then Phi and I would have never been born in our current forms. Your current forms? Sean, you should already know about epigenetics. You see, environmental factors oh determine which switches are activated within the genetic code. But you suck. Why would you want to turn out like this? Reproductive cells are the same. Or perhaps I should say that the reproductive cells are the ones most affected. Oh, I get it. That's why you made Diana and Sigma play the decision game. What do you mean? By backing them into a crisis situation, he caused an epigenetic change within their reproductive cells. I think that's why their children were born with unique powers. Gold star. This well done, is the reason I created. I have my mind hacking abilities. Phi was affected as well. You were born a shifter. DT, do you recall what was written on your wall? When a curious hate oozes calamity. And rearranging the letters gives you... No way. What you choose can materialize us. Uh, our decisions will bring you to life. That is why the decision games were held. So that the Phi and me here now would materialize exactly well, the not way we are. No, but... Okay, so I get why you had to have Diana and Sigma go through life or death decisions. But the rest of us had nothing to do with... I already told you. My motives are complex. Wait, wait, there's more? Ah! Fuck you, you goddamn old man! Yes! Oh, no! Stab him! No! Help kick. 
<laughs> Don't know where you learnt that from. Even the murderer is shocked. Oh no, not Eric. Don't give Eric the shotgun. No, it's he loves over. it too much! You may be right. What? Diana, take this. Put it in. You're Bluebird too. And my name is Mom. Okay. Over the box. It's ready. What? Oh, he set no. it up. It's like the end of seven. The hell? What is this? This is what he wanted the whole time. <laughs> He's a maniac. Hey, answer me. What's with that announcement? Must I explain? Yes, this shelter will soon explode. You've worked so hard only to turn on this facility's self-destruct mechanism. Why didn't you just turn it on yourself? Sean, access the central control computer. It's no use. Once the force quit program has been activated, there is no possible way for you to reverse it. Then what can we do? I will tell you one good, no, two good things. First, I suggest checking behind the bar counter. Oh. oh, no! Oh no, is it the dog? Why would you? Gab. Oh, you fuck! Gab's been. Did you kill Gab? Yes, with the shotgun you're holding. There wasn't much life left in him anyway. You monster! I never expected to hear that coming from you, Shaw. So what's the other thing? You had two things to tell us. I love how straight-laced the murderer the is. To mind her. We already know that. But I have not told you everything about it. Reading other people's thoughts isn't the only thing I can do with mind hacking. It only lasts a moment. But I am able to control someone's body as I wish. Lie. This. Oh, he's gonna swing it. He's gonna swing it. If you were going to die, what is the point of doing all of this? Eric, why? No, for real, I. My finger just. Mind hacking. Just very quick. I just need to pause it because my favorite thing ever. This is my favorite. Is I assume this is what Vea Peta means. Is I can do many things like this, and then they wrote I can release emails, and I think that's a Clinton joke, and I think that's great. Continue. Understand now. This is my power. So, let's begin. Your final decision game. Save, kill. You have two choices. One, to stay here and wait to die. The, the other is... The, the other... What is the other one? What's the other option? What's the other option? Five minutes until explosion. Five minutes until we're trying to get it done. Well, what should we do? What about the X door? And how exactly should we open it? Unless six people die, it's gonna stay closed. Or should we start killing each other now? 
Mira. I have an idea. Which is? We're going to shift, all of us, together. Hey, hold on. Like, jumping to another history? But... Eric and I... I'm sure it will be fine. Remember what I said? Human consciousness may be a result of quantum effects in the brain. Oh, yeah. You said if certain conditions are met, we can also... What are the conditions? First, you need to be exposed to danger. Tick. And the other one is... To be in the vicinity of a group of shifters. I get it. We'll resonate, and then Mira and Eric can. But which history are we going to jump to? None of the similar histories will work. One team is likely to be dead after the vote. And we can't shift if there are no bodies for us to jump to, right? Then... We need to jump to where all of us are alive. When we're all alive? Do you mean... Beginning. Find clip. Huh. The history where we won the coin toss. That I've already played. It was my first choice of the entire game. Is actually the end. The true end? Three minutes until explosion. Uh, I'm not sure I get it all, but it's a good idea. What are you saying? There's no way we could do that. Why not? Shift isn't simply jumping into bodies in different histories. Our consciousnesses swap places. Ours for theirs. We'll be forcing our other selves into these bodies yeah. and they'll die without knowing why. That's messed up. Yeah, and what's wrong with that? What? Well, they're all living without a care off in another history, yeah? One time? They do the coin toss once and win? Don't you think that's unfair? Mira, you're saying they, but we're talking about ourselves here. Well, we should consider if those people really are us. Good point. If we assume that we here are the true versions, then the us and the other history are essentially strangers. Even more of a reason not to. If we shift to that history, then we're tossing the others under the bus to save ourselves. The us in that history have done nothing wrong. I mean, the only thing they did was win at a coin toss. <sighs> you could say the same for us. The only thing we did was lose a coin toss. Even so, we've had to go through so much shit. We've been forced to put our lives on the line. Besides, aren't the bodies in the other histories ours anyway? Then we why should we second guess ourselves? Huh. Um. What happens to you? Like, your brain. We're out of time. I'll say it again. We have two choices. We can stay here and wait for our deaths. Or survive by sacrificing our other selves in another history. Well, that's what that bastard meant. The final decision game. Obviously, we're gonna do both, but we need we need the true pocket playthrough ending of what we actually do. Do we stay or do we shift? Ooh. Please vote, my friends. You would shift.
Yeah, we just fetched it. Um, I don't know. I think I think I would shift because I would just go. It's very nice. well. It's but it's such an abstract idea. The idea of like moving someone else's conscious to this body to die is so abstract to me that I think I could deal with it because like you could very quickly talk away that there's no way you could prove that that's actually what happened so I think I could explain it in a way to myself which is kind of awful and it is you anyway. and it is me so I'm still dying and living anyway uh okay the boat is closing in 10 9 and then Link Fire 12 says they're shifting into a place where the dog is still alive that's true um Nick T official says, don't shift first, then vote shift, just so we can see everything, but have the last thing we see be the actual ending. I think that's probably a good idea. I think that's probably a good idea. Because if there's one thing I know about all of these games is they can totally let you down when you just need the shitty cutscene at the end. Um, so, voting closes in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... One, and the winner is we're shifting, my friends, which means we're going to stay for this first one, and then we're going to end with the true pocket ending, shift net. Don't shift. Ma! Nodding, nodding, everyone's nodding and excited. Eric, panicking, panicking. Mira, heartless. <laughs> Let's do the two pick. One happy family, plus old dead guy. That's a box. Well, I'm glad we didn't end on that. <laughs> <laughs> that <was> okay. <laughs> so, we are so close. Uh, let's write that one. Uh, now, back. Now, we've done that. Right, so it's the same for each one. Yeah, it's all of them. So, let's jump here. And final decision. Can you watch the whole cutscene again? I still don't understand what's happening. You still don't understand anything? <laughs> no. No. What about the X door? And or sh Hey, hold. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Burst. Decisions, but decisions. We're gonna have to have a debrief about uh, this after. Why not shit? Our cop will be. Yeah? And yeah, what's so wrong zero, with that? You what? missed this. Well, they're all living without a care off in another it's history, it's yeah? One time, they do the coin toss no, once and so win? Do so Don't you think that's unfair? Mira, you're saying they, Him? but we're talking about ourselves here. Sigma and Diane. Well, we and should consider they, if those people really and are and us. Good point. In the if we assume that we the here are the true versions, then the us and the other history are essentially strangers. It's even more of a reason not to. If we shift to that history, then we're tossing the others under the bus to save our The us in that. <laughs> you even. We're out. We have two. We can four. Skip, skip, skip. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's like so. And shift! That's it. We've finished this game. 20 plus hours. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought for a second. Wait, what? Where's the ending? Where's the. <laughs> Where is my ending? What is this? Which one do I go to? The coin flip? Here. Here we go. Okay. 
God, I hate the way the game is designed. I hate the way the game is designed. It's so stupid. Like, why would you make it so that after this big climactic moment, you get kicked out to a menu that you then need to hunt for the button to click on? Oh, goodness. Okay, so this is heads or tails. Let's just go from... Coincidence. Let's just go from here. Do you remember what color? Shit, no, I don't. Win, loss. Just go from there. The coin flip win, I reckon. Yeah. It's red. <laughs> that was my favorite moment the whole stream. Good, I would have picked blue. <clears throat> See? Didn't I say it'd be red? Yeah, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> well done, Carlos. Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It was just luck. I had a 50% chance. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a Smug second. Smug mother. Okay, Remember when sure, we hated you lucked Carlos? out with your guess. Remember you the beginning when wrong? we hated him because he's so smug? What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? Fear not. I'm a fair person. I promised to release you, and I shall. Ah, but before that, I apologize, but you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, you will have forgotten everything that just happened here. Why would we forget? Hmm, I wonder. Pleasant dreams. I mean, does this even make sense? Because as soon as they go to sleep, right? Like, as soon as they go to sleep here, and they, like, once they start ride, riding the elevator or whatever, the I know. You're... The, riding the elevator or whatever that gets them out. Delta would stop existing. Like, he just would not exist anymore, right? Because he was, because the world, that world didn't continue to the point where he could, he could become, he could be born. Correct? Correct, Amundo? That means file disappear as well! John, ladies and gentlemen! Hey, hold on. Why are we outside? I have no clue. When I woke up, we were on the ground over there. There's five of them. Huh? What is it? Didn't we... All have something attached to our left wrists. Hmm. Uh, I suppose we might have. No, because nothing. Coin. Huh? Right. Nothing. Right. Just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped and falling. Ah, uh, come to think of it. <sighs> Damn, I I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. It somehow feels like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we all forget what happened? Hey, I... Could I ask all of you something? Who's this freak in the helm? Who is this kid? Yep. Now this was the this is where we ended. Like this was Yeah, that was the very first stream. That was the first Yeah, that was that was the playthrough video. Not even the stream. So, wait, was that it? No. No. Right. There's more. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. Here we go. This is it. This is it. So they're all about to sh Oh, wait. Back. Right? Tell me that wasn't it. No, there's still one. 
save. Oh, so I couldn't even play it from there. I need to actually go to uh, the flow. Okay, just play this. Sure. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is actually the end now. Do not jump me to a menu. This is the end of the game. But I'm glad we watched that as the as the lead up. Here are the buddies who were here at the very beginning when we did the first play video. And everything was out of sync. It was a nightmare. It's still a nightmare. No one knows what's going on. Who's this kid? Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. It somehow feels what like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we all forget what happened? Hey, uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid? Take off your head. Take off the robot head. That, okay, that's them shift again. So they've just shifted out. They're all about to die. The ones who were about to die are now here. We do it? We're not wearing the bracelet, so I, I don't know the time. But judging by the position of the sun, it's probably noonish. And the date? How would I know? Hey, Mira. Eric. Do you remember me? Yeah. I definitely remember you. Then we really did. Oh, it must have worked. Life is unfair, don't you think? Gab's back! You bastard. Seventeen years ago, a snail traveled down a narrow path in the park. It all makes sense. If that snail hadn't been there, perhaps all of you here would have lived a completely different life than you did. Just one small snail, and everyone's lives, even the world, changed. So, what's the big deal? Oh, would you, would you just quit talking nonsense? I'm so glad you were safe. Of course we were. You all have shifted in from another history. Whatever. We gotta call the cops. And Does anyone what have reception? exactly will that accomplish? Isn't it obvious? We're throwing you in a slammer. And my crime? Murder. Murder? I see. But I haven't killed anyone. Specifically, in this history, not a single person has died. I strongly doubt the police would listen. But in the other histories, you... Did you not pay attention? I don't have the ability to shift. The only reason I know anything of those histories is because I mind hack you. In effect, the me you know is a different person than the one before you. Can I be charged for killing someone in another history? If so, then I'd say this world would be full of criminals of all kinds. What about Go. conspiracy to commit? Yeah. I'm betting this history's got a bunch of dangerous machines and gimmicks all over the shelter. Unfortunately, I have removed them all. You've slept for quite a while. Nothing is left in the shelter. No transporter, no quantum computer. 
loaded into a truck and taken away. Sean is able to move right now due to radio signals received from a satellite. <laughs> Brilliant! Why, aren't you happy? I say again, in this history, not a single person has like died. The whole game is designed that it Fly and I exist. Before. And there will never be an outbreak of radical sex. There is only a bright future ahead for all of us. Is this not what you'd call a happy end? Give me a hug, mummy. They're just like, I can't argue with that. But according to you, all of mankind will die if time passes and and nothing is done. Religious fanatic, a terrorist attack that sparks a nuclear war. I heard this story. You said you released Radical Six so that you could kill that person. Hmm. The me before you did not say that, but I can't deny it's true. Radical Six won't spread throughout the world in this history. That means? Fanatic guy won't die. Wait, so now humans will go extinct? Hey, where's that happy future you mentioned? Interesting. Does that make you angry, Fine? <sighs> what? If so, then we have a serious contradiction. I had prepared a future in another history where two billion would survive. But yeah, you decided to jump to this history. That means you chose a future where humanity goes extinct. Over six billion dead. No, you're wrong, Delta. Nothing in the future has been determined yet. We'll shape the future with our own hands. Huh. You said something I can get behind, Carlos. I think so, too. I agree. Chuck. Okay, me too. Mira. You're right. The future has infinite possibilities. I'm gonna eat you later. If we work together, we can accomplish anything. Humanity's oh gonna die out. They turn into the Power Rangers. Screw that. We'll definitely change that horrible future. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Just that. What the hell do you mean? I'm sure I told you in another history that my motives are complex. Imagine. What if none of you had experienced the events that occurred in the shelter? You're so determined now to change the future. One of the goals of all of this was to get you into that <coughs> frame of mind. It's all going according to plan. Without a single casualty. I created a future where mankind will be saved. Does that upset you? I'm sorry Are that my love is angry that your life was played with. Very well. I will give all of you one last choice. I lied. What? With that gun there, you will be able to choose whether to kill me now. Or allow me to live. Oh my god. I promise, I won't use mind hacking on you. You are free to decide. Which shall it be? Pull the trigger, or let me go. The fates of you, me, and mankind are all on the line. This is the decision game. Credits. Oh 
Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, it's a it's a nice it's it's a nice literal ending. Like, literally the ending, the last moment of the video game is that. Oh my goodness. Also, this is the same plot as the last two games. This is what in the last two games, Akane did this. At least in the first one. In the first one, this is what Akane did. She set up the whole game so that the game would happen, so that she would be in the spot, so that the game could happen. My goodness. My goodness. <sighs> well, I had fun. Did you guys have fun? Everyone had fun. We did it. We did it, friends. We did do it. I don't think there is a sequel. I think that, um, I think the third one, like, because they, they weren't even going to make this one. Because they didn't have... They didn't have the money, and then they ended up crowdfunding. Um, that's right. Thank you, North Darkwood. In 999, it's Akane. In Virtue's Last Reward, it's Sigma and Akane. So, it's like they just keep on this loop of having to do things because they're all self-fulfilling prophecies. Um, I mean, this game is stupid, and it's poorly written. Uh, the plot is incredibly complex. I would love to see this plot done by... Naughty Dog or Bioware or someone who's actually good at storytelling to see because I think that there's a lot about the plot that I really like um, but the writing is just abysmal uh, the animations are abysmal um, the humour is terrible uh, mechanics are clunky the game repeats itself constantly it is by all accounts a very bad video game but it's probably one of my favourite games of 2016 um, it's a great streaming game um, an amazing game to, uh, to, uh, to stream because everyone got so invested. We need another game like this, uh, to stream, you know, over the course of a few months and then pep it in with, with other things. I've actually got another one lined up, um, which I will find the name of right now. And you can tell me if any of you have even heard of it. I hadn't heard of it, uh, or have played it. But yeah, what did you guys think? Let me know here now. Phoebe says I loved it so much. Rough Puffian, I love these games. Blaze Tyrant says Sopranos ending. Um, Lingfi said the plot isn't very complex in that it's not very clever or intelligent. Fair enough. Uh, the humor is terrible. What are you talking about? Says Celia VP. Uh, Sith Cat, there's nothing I like about this game. I'm just here for pocket. I'm ecstatic. Uh, says something else and ends with and yet it was enjoyable it certainly was a game says toad rob rob dog loved it snatch crackle loved it phoebe loved it sashweed loved it daleks woman Monday says had dog let's play again um Dravisaur was so invested and this was an adventure yeah that's i mean that's the thing right like that's why i loved it so much because it was actually something that we all had somewhat of an understanding of. Um, I'm trying to find the name of this game. Sorry, I'm just looking for my Steam wish list. The awkward animation was what got me so good, Rihanna. Best series of streams I've watched in a while, says Chris. Pink Girl says, oh my god, I'm so glad this is over. Cleo, 10 out of 10, would watch again. Uh, okay, so the name of the game is The Black Watchman. Has anyone, have you heard of The Black Watchman? So... In the first ever permanent alternate reality game, you join the ranks of the Black Watchmen, a paramilitary group dedicated to protecting the public from dangerous phenomena beyond human understanding, ritualistic murder, occult secret societies, and the paranormal, to name but a few. And it's got like a series of adventures in it. So if any of you have played the board game Time Stories, I think it's like that. The game is doing something... No. Um, and... 
it is... Okay, so... There's no virtual world, you have no in-game avatar, you have a name, your wits, and the support of the community. The game exists in the real world, and many times during missions, you'll be interacting with real-world entities, players, businesses, organization. You will not be able to complete this game alone. Only with the help of the community will you be able to rise up through the ranks, ranks and become a veteran agent of the Black Watchman. So, if you buy Season 1, you get 25 in-game missions, 65 puzzles to solve, 5 hidden missions obtained by unlocking other parts in other missions, and then uh, sandbox missions made by the community. Um, I don't even understand the mechanics of it. Like, just check out the Steam page, The Black Watchman. But it feels like something that we could actually get crazily invested in. And you can all help me actually play. Um, yes, good. I'm recruiting you into ASIO. That is the plan. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm going to miss this game. But I'm so glad we had that experience together, my friends. Uh, let's save. Our total playtime was, give or take, a little bit. 21 hours, 27 minutes. Probably minus an hour of just having the game open during menus and wrap-ups and stuff so about 20 and a half hours um yeah so that that game sounds pretty cool so that's something that like i want to check it out we can do it we can just do it on like one live stream um uh and uh and we can see what we think and if we and if we want to play more we can play more of it and if not then uh then we'll find something else but yeah i think that that's my next that's my next possibly big game uh when we're not looking at uh at other things around did you enjoy your time no no not at all no. you hated it yeah rightfully so <laughs> like there's no like i i i'm talking to pete i can't think of a video game that is less disposed to peter burns than that game i don't know about that but that was not good no that's what I'm... Like, I like puzzles and stuff. I can see the fun doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. decent puzzles in that, but, like... But, like, all of the stuff that gets in the way of that... Yeah. Like, well, I refuse to stomp. You want the witness. You don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I refuse to stomp. Uh, what about Civ 6? Well, I don't have Civ 6 yet. Um... But we... I will we by next week. Yeah, I will by next, next week, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I can. My, my only thing about Civ is that I feel like it's... It's one of those... We could we could stream some Civ and see what happens, like go do a full Civilization. My thinking behind I was thinking about doing that, but my thinking was that it's just one of those games where you go, it's it's a bunch of like really small decisions that you make yourself, um, and and it's kind of boring to watch. But if we build up a fiction around it, it could be fun. Um, like actually just invent a story as we as we build our civilization because i'm so excited for it i haven't played civ in ages so i'll i'll suck the first time but uh but i, I do wonder, really like the civ games i wonder if it'll have pub c because it might have pub c that's a very good question let's find out civ six pub c uh, just quickly, I'm going to end the local recording, which is the one we're going to put up on YouTube here. Uh, that is the end of our Zero Time Dilemma package. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see the rest of what we're talking about now, you should really turn up to the live streams. Goodbye.